We're here in Pilot Point, Texas, at the home of Chad and Susie Chance and home of Hoof Watch. And we're teamed up with the WCB to bring you a set of videos for Sheridan, Wyoming. And we're going to be going up there on Labor Day. Our judging clinician is Mr. Chad Chance of Pilot Point, Texas, member of the WCB. He's been on the AFT two times in a row. And he has selected one of the two uh, two-man shoes for Sheridan is going to be a hind beveled with a massillet clip and it's going to have a reverse heel on the outside so we can get a little bit of width without getting a whole lot of length and it's punched for seven e10s it's fullered it's got a massillet clip on the toe and it's got it's fully fullered to the heel it measures seven and a half by seven and a half it's made out of 17 inches a half by inch and a quarter it's it's beveled all the way around and then on the medial aspect it's beveled and it's got it goes from being beveled then it makes the transition to safing on the on the medial heel the massillate clip i'm gonna i have to commit so i'm gonna go a quarter inch off center and i'm gonna put my center punch mark back slightly because when you start building a massillate if you put it out on the edge you can literally roll that massillate uh, that center punch mark back and forth to where you don't get an accurate reading of where that that clip goes so i'll come back to where the edge of my stock is after the massillate is drawn all right we got a little bit of a localized bump i'm just going to get material in the toe What I'll do is you can see now I'll just fill up this and make my massillet right now. All right, I tightened up the bump. It's a lot closer to the center and this is just so I can get it into that, that toe clip area. The other was like for a toe bend and this is more just for that massillet. Get that set down a little bit. And then we'll get the striker to kind of set us up and push that material back to the front side. Come on with it. There we go. Have, once I make my toe bend, I have plenty of material to springboard off of. I got a lot of material in the toe. Come with the round side of the horn. And then we'll flatter it and get our width back. Come on with it. I will continually come back and revisit the Massillet, but like now I've got pretty much my material left there. I'll keep cleaning it up. I got plenty of width here. And I want to have a good toe because when I restart my bevel every time, it'll take a little bit of my toe's life away. So I think I'll be all right. When you're beveling, I need to make sure that I keep it perpendicular to the horn so my 
Hammer's gonna come in at more of an angle. I'm not allowed to get sloppy and hold it like this. So I'm holding it perpendicular to the horn. So my body's way to this side of the shoe. And then I'm just taking that edge off. Then what I'll do is I'll rely on the fuller to push the top edge out. And then we'll hit it with the flatter and flatten it back up again. I've got my caliper set. So you want to come just a skosh coarser than you thought. I got it marked out. I'll make it, I'll clean up my shape a little bit and then we'll knock the fuller into the bottom. I'm gonna just run my edges. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come from the massillet and I'm just not really beveling, I'm not hemming, I'm beveling and I'm just getting that nice shape, put a little bit of boxing on the back. And now we'll run the fuller in there. There you go. Perfect. Cool. See it right there. I'll take just a little bit right here and just kind of push down on that and that, that cleans that line up. All right. Come in here. I'm gonna clean up my toe again. I'm running that edge, get to the widest part, and run my bet, my safety. So, again, I'm running my bevel, ease up, start back here and begin with my safety.
There we go. Just push some of that from the back side to where I got plenty to clip. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a section that my eye sees like that clip, that clip wasn't even drawn yet. All right, you got one good hit, so you don't want to keep hitting it if you're not hitting square. So I'm going to come in. See, you got to readjust it. There, it locked in. Got to go away from me a little bit. Clean up my edge. Clean up this edge. And then make my shoe. I'm going out to the heel quarter and then staying behind the whole time because I'm taking that curve out of it. Again, go for my heel nail. If I hold it here, I have my heel nail. So you can see, I'm just gonna come in here. You can see the line I create, and I'm going all the way up and right on through the toe clip. Then I grab it here. I find out where my heel nail is, and now you can see my safety goes all the way through to the heel. They both work away from the quarter, and it makes the transition line of going from from boxing, I mean, from, from uh, bevel to safe. Expression overall, looking at it, flatter it one more time. We've got a hind bevel. Got it pretty well cleaned up. You can see I've got a bevel on both sides. It comes around the out lateral side. It comes around the medial side till the heel nail, and then it turns into safety.